Dietrich Bonhoeffer. <laughs> Professor Niebuhr has a little surprise for you. Freshly translated, hot off the press, a copy of your discipleship. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a bribe. <laughs> We're hoping we can keep you so happy and so preoccupied you won't have time to think about returning to Germany. <laughs> Because your feet's too big. I hate you because your feet's too big. Too big. Yeah. Your girl, she likes you. Says she thinks you're nice. Says you got what it takes to take a paradise. She likes your face and she loves your ring. Oh, but look at her. Look at her. Your feet's too big. What do you say? My feet's too big. I don't like you because you said that my feet's too big. That's not a word. So first Boston, then DC, then Chicago. Or perhaps you'd rather go to sunny California first. What's on your mind, Dietrich? Frank, I have to go home. To the Nazis. Are you sure? Yes. They'll put you in prison, Dietrich. You know that. Maybe. See, if I stayed, I think I'd become a living lie to everything I believe in. We wouldn't want that to happen. ourselves that if we take the loyalty oath to Hitler, it means they let us worship in peace. The Nuremberg laws are an attack on Christianity itself. Adolf Hitler demands nothing less than total commitment. He's the elected chancellor, yes. But more than that, he considers himself der Führer. And as the leader, he craves to be the conscience of every living German. But his claim upon us is a claim that a Christian can only accept from Christ himself. The Reichsbischof is rewriting Holy Scripture. Only those who cry out for the Jews have the right to sing Gregorian chants. Thank you, Dietrich. Christ himself was a Jew. And in the eyes of the Lord, we're all one. He bound it. Take Charlotte out. Come on. Dr. Bonhoeffer? Yes? Good evening. Good evening. Until further notice, you're forbidden to speak in public, to publish your writings, and to teach. And you're to report to the Gestapo once a week. Is that clear? Good evening. Be careful. Gentlemen, it's my duty to arrest you if you refuse to take the oath. So let us please recite it together. 
I swear to be true and obedient. I swear to be true and obedient. The Führer of the German Reich, Adolf Hitler. To the Führer of the German Reich, Adolf Hitler. To abide by the law and fulfill my duty. To abide by the law and fulfill my duty. So help me God. So That's ridiculous. People know me, they know I'm Jewish, and they still respect me. The Nazis surely have other things to do than go around arresting every Jew they see. You're wrong. Did you read this? That Nazi trash. It may be, but it tells us what and how the Nazis are thinking. On the outbreak of war, the Jews will be exterminated without a trace. There it is, black and white. That's just propaganda. They can't, they won't. They do and they will. It has never come back on a promise. I'm afraid your brother is right. Even if he is only a theologian. Sabine, it is too dangerous. You've got to leave Germany. Why? Afraid to have a Jew in the family? The way you were afraid to speak at my father's funeral. You have no choice. You, you must leave. Now. But where should we go? This is our home. Where would I find work? First go to Switzerland. And then to England. No. I'm afraid we can't afford to bury our heads in the sand. But in 1919, when the British again curtailed civil liberties, Gandhi organized his first All India Civil Disobedience Campaign. He called it a Satyagraha, meaning truth false. Since then, Gandhi has consistently continued to lead strong movements, non-violently, against untouchability for Muslim Hindu unity, women's rights, basic education. Our role models, you see, are not only found in Christianity, I'd like to visit Gandhi someday, very much. I'd, I'd love to travel to India and live with him and his followers. Do as he does, learn from him, and try my, my utmost to... Come on. In you get. I'm sorry to see you go, but under the circumstances, I think it's the best thing to do. You might lose everything that you've ever loved and wanted if you stay. I know. Well, so long, twin one. Well, so long, twin two. I'll miss you. Please be careful. The Nazis aren't your friends either. I know. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. I'm sorry for that remark about my father's funeral. 
There was no need for it. No, no, you don't have to be sorry. I deserved it. My bishop asked me not to speak, and I didn't. But I should have. Drive safely, Gerhard. Yeah.